Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WSQP Tech and in this video we are going to talk about what are features and labels with respect to this machine learning. So let's get started. So we'll just understand this thing uh, with the help of an example. So say I have this data set by the name person.csv. Now each column that you can just see it over here in, inside this data set over here, these are nothing but these are the features. So what are the features over here? This person, then this height, then weight, then foot size. These are all the features over here. So this each column just represent a distinct feature or you can just call this as a property over here. So in respect to this machine learning, features are nothing but these are the properties of your training data. Or you can just simply say that these are nothing but these are the column name in your training data set. So this is all about the features over here. Now talking about this labels. So the output that you just get from your model after the training phase gets completed is called as the label over here. Now say that you're just going to just feed this data inside your algorithm over here and with the help of that thing it will just generate a module and that module what it will do it will just help you to just predict this uh, the type of a person whether it is a, a male or a female. So what you're just going to do uh, inside your module you are just going to pass those features like this uh, height weight and foot size right and after this uh, computing your model is going to return the type of a person that whether it is a male or a female. So the this this uh, the output that you are just getting that whether it is a male or a female this is called as labels. Whereas the features that you are just passing it into your module is nothing but these are the height, weight and foot size. These are nothing but these are the features. Let's take some another example over here. So over here now just consider this data set by the name exercise.csp. So here. Uh, Likewise, now here the each column inside this data set is called as the feature over here. So what are the features over here? This person, then age, then we have this height, weight, then the duration of its uh, exercise over here, then the heart rate, then the body temperature, and last we have this calories. So these are nothing but these are the features of your data set over here. Now see, over here what will happen? Now depending upon your goal, uh, your features and labels is going to differ over here. So you need to uh, uh, so you just need to find out first that what you want uh, uh, what type of module you want to design and the, that model what it's going to predict for you okay so we are just going to consider two cases over here okay now let's just consider the first case over here so say you just want to predict the calories burned of a person during the exercise so over here what you are going to consider the features so you are just going to consider the gender height and weight okay these would be the features and what you want to predict you want to predict the calories burned during the exercise over here. So the prediction that is you want to predict the calories over here is nothing but this is the label and this calorie is the column that you just want to predict using various features and the features would be the gender height and weight all right. So this is about the case one over here now taking the case two over here. Now say you want to just predict the heart rate okay by using this gender and weight as a feature. So over here what will happen here this heart rate is nothing but this is the label okay that you just want your model to predict that the output is you are going to get and for this your model what features it is going just going to use it is just going to use this gender and weight. So as I just said you over here that depending upon your goal that what type of model you want to design like uh, what uh, prediction you just want your module to do for uh, for it for you so depending upon that thing your features and labels is going to differ and that we just saw it over here that in the case one and case two okay so in the case one we are just predicting the calories over here and in the case two we are predicting the heart rate and depending upon this prediction uh, our uh, this uh, features are going to change and of course the label is going to change over here let's take the another example over here so say suppose that you just uh, you want you are trying to predict the type of a pet someone will choose. So your input feature might just include this age, home reason, then family income. Now depending upon this feature, you will just get the output label. So here the label is the final choice, the final answer over here. That is either it would be aquarium or horse or a dog. Now once you just train your module, you will just give a new input containing these features. And it will just return the predicted label for you that is the type of the uh, pet over here okay. So this is how this uh, your feature and label works. So in this case this uh, prediction is nothing but it would be the 
pet name okay that is aquarium horse dog or it can be any of this uh, pet animal okay so these are nothing but this is going to be your label now in order to just uh, your model ha help to get this production this label your model you need to just feed it with the features that is this age home reason and the family income and depending upon this features it will just your model is going to do the production for you so this is all about the features and label now this one is for you all to try it on your own over here so over here you are seeing this picture over here so say you just want to classify this animal shown over here so you just uh, you just need to tell me that what are all the features and possible labels for this one so let me just know your answer in the comment section below and if you just like this video so hit the like button share it to the friends and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching hey!